Okay, uh, I've been having some trouble with uh, this one particular model. I'm trying to separate the hair from the model, but it's already got skin weights on it. Uh, I've got a system to get around that, that's fine, but afterwards there was additional trouble that was caused. So I will just go do it the wrong way quickly and uh, show you guys what that looks like, and then I'll show you how to do it properly. So I'm just going to hit pause for a moment and just go and do it the wrong way quick. Okay, we back. So I've I've basically duplicated the the model and I've made it one called No Hair, and uh, I've gone about just straightforward um, how one would probably expect to do it, and I get strange results. So you can see the helmet is disconnecting from the rider. I've removed the hair. So great. Now I've got a model with no hair. I've copied the weights across. Um, from the original model, so it's animating with the rig correctly, but the helmet and the cell phone is just completely desynced from it all. So I want to show you how to fix that, so we don't have that problem. And it's actually I'm going to have to start over because it's actually ruined the model, some uh, the, the the hierarchy and the helmet and the cell phone. So I'm going to have to start with a fresh scene and show you guys how to do it and what I will be doing to avoid that. Okay, so here's the original model, and we'll scrub through the timeline. You can see the helmet and the cell phone is in the character's hand, along with the pickaxe, and everything looks good. Okay, so let's go to the T pose for this character, the bind pose. I'm going to choose the model, duplicate it, bring it to the top, rename it. Alright, I'm going to hide the original. On the new model, I am going to just uh, delete the the hair quickly by growing my selection. Okay, hit delete, back into object mode, and I'm going to delete the non-deformer history. Okay, so I've still not scrubbed the timeline, so it's still in the bind pose. I'm going to take, I'm going to hold shift and click on the plus button to expand the whole tree. So I'm actually going to remove the cell phone from the hierarchy here on the skeleton. Okay, so the cell phone's been removed and I'm going to remove the helmet too. I know where they go. I've, I've made a mental note of where they go. So I've removed them now. So now when I bind the character to, I'm just going to shift select the, all the bones select my new model and go bind okay so now new, my, new my new model is bound to the, to the bones but if I had to scrub through you'd see they, they not there's certain weight painting that was done to the original model to make it look better so um, I'm gonna click on the original model click on the new one and copy that those weights across okay, if that's the settings I use click apply all right if I scrub through this timeline now, you'll see that the, the cell phone and the hel helmet are not going to follow through because uh, their connection with the bones have been broken since I've taken them out of the stack. All I need to do now is just bring them straight back in. And it's as if nothing ever happened. Grab that helmet, doing middle mouse, dragging it down. I believe that was uh, yeah, under the head. There we go. All right, three, two, one. Let's see if it works. Scrub the timeline, and the helmet's fuddling, uh, fuddling, following, and uh, there we're using our no hair model. Okay, so all is looking well. Everything looks good. All the weights from the original models have been copied across. We've got a model that has no hair. Now we can add in new hair hair models uh, to the game, and everything's great. There are sometimes little glitches that happen. I believe on frame. Let's have a look here. Uh, yeah, oh, where there's a, there's a glitch um, somewhere. Uh, and we'll just have to fix the weights just in that area. There you go. So that's a little glitch that the original model doesn't have. So if I hide the no hair model 
and I reveal the original you can see that looks good there's no glitch happening there I hide the original and go back to R1 um, I need to fix that on the feet so just be mindful if you copy the weights across uh, sometimes something can go a little bit astray you just have to just go and have a look and make sure that's all good so just go to paint weights um, yep that one I want to flood with zero value and we're done okay and now everything is good all right I hope that helped um, it's been quite a, a learning curve for me to figure out how to get around this weird glitch with the cell phone and the helmet but uh, yeah we made it there in the end and uh, hopefully I have avoided and saved you a lot of time all right take care bye bye